I am ready to anchor. No, you're not. Hello, Hoppington High, and welcome to a new HHS Today. I'm your host, Tommy Nation, and in this episode, we'll take a peek at the upcoming Hopkinton High production of Godspell and bring you a question of the day. But first, let's stop by Officer Phil's office. Today, I'm interviewing Officer Powers. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, thanks. How did you become a police officer? Well, back when I um, got out of the military, I was in the Air Force. I came out and um, I got on the auxiliary police in Upton, Mass., that surrounding town. Uh, after that, I uh, became full time in Upton. And the, after a year in Upton, um, I got an interview with the Hopkinton police and got hired in Hopkinton and been here ever since. Where's your favorite vacation spot? Well, I have a couple of them. I do a, um, a vacation every year in Myrtle Beach. Uh, I put on a golf uh, trip with a bunch of uh, guys, so we have a good time there. But I also love uh, spending time going to uh, warm areas, Florida or, or to the Bahamas with my family. If you could give any advice to any high school student, what would it be? Well, probably to enjoy life. Uh, Treat people the way you would want to be treated or the way your family would want to be treated. And that's, try. I try to go with that motto, um, you know, as a police officer because, you know, people make mistakes and, you know, they can fix those mistakes. So, uh, Thank you for uh, accepting our interview. Thanks, Officer Phil, for taking the time to chat with us. And now a quick reminder. Hopkinton High School drama students present the musical Godspell in the HHS Auditorium. Our own HHS TV2 class put together this look at the production. $10 for students, $15 for adults, and can be purchased at the door. Next, before our last segment, a quick reminder that registration for AP exams is open, and after November 21st, there's a $25 late fee. The absolute deadline for registering is February 27, 2019, so don't miss out and good luck. Now it's time for our last segment, question of the day. Today we're asking, if you had five hours left to live, what would you do? If I had five hours left to live, uh, I would either buy or make every type of food and that's my favorite and I would eat it. I would go to an all-you-can-eat buffet. I would play golf. Uh, I'd probably go to McDonald's and buy a McPick 2. If I had five hours left, I would spend it at the beach. If I had five hours left to live, I would go home and spend it with my family. So if I had five hours left, I would reconcile all my differences with everybody and then I would complete my bucket list. I wonder why five, and not three hours, or twelve. Anyways, that's our show. Here's a few HPS social accounts you may be interested in checking out. And if you don't see your favorite here, let us know. Also, have you listened to the new podcast, 90 Hayden Row? It's produced by Mr. Bishop, and has lots of cool stuff about Hopkinton High. So give it a listen on iTunes or Google Play. Thanks for tuning in. See all our stuff at hhs.today. And tell us how we're doing, or what we should be doing, at hhstv at hillers.org. See you next week. Be kind to one another and make it a great day.